reporting. Alongside Zach Hester, I'm Jordan Crawford. Today's topic, wind. To be more precise, we're going to talk about wind farms, what they consist of, when they originated, and their locations. Ladies and gentlemen, we're covering it all in today's news report. Before we go live to our reporters in the field, we're going to discuss the brief history of wind power. Sailboats and sailing ships have been using wind power for at least 5,500 years, and architects have used wind-driven natural ventilation in buildings since ancient times. Early examples of wind power machines were used in Persia as early as 200 BC and were introduced into the Roman Empire by 250 AD. However, Zach, the practical windmills were built in Sistan, Afghanistan in the 7th century. These windmills were considered vertical axle windmills, which had a long vertical drive shaft with, with rectangle shaped blades. And now we're going to go live to Becky in the field with more on these interesting machines. Today I am going to explain what a wind turbine is and how it works. A wind turbine transforms the kinetic energy of the wind into, into mechanical or electrical energy that can be harnessed for practical use. The most common wind turbines are a tower made of steel with blades made of fiberglass, reinforced polyester, or wood epoxy. A land-based turbine could be anywhere from 50 to 90 meters for their, radar, for their rotor diameter. Offshore turbines have larger rotors, and so far the largest rotor is 110 meters. The reason this is is because they can transport the larger rotors on ships better than they can by land. There are also small wind turbines that are used for individual businesses that are, can, could be around 8 meters with towers up to 40 meters tall. Now I will explain a little bit about how it works. Wind energy is a form of solar energy created by circulation patterns in the Earth's atmosphere that are created by heat from the sun. Wind energy can be used directly, like on a boat sail, or can be converted into electrical energy, electricity, like with a wind turbine. Great story, Becky. Compelling and rich. Now, we're going to go live in the field for weather with Haley. Center Skywalk, it seems that Kale is about to go off on current wind turbine projects. Since prices have been dropping and efficiency going up, wind farms have been blowing into communities around the world. Modern turbines, turbines of an average size produce about a half a megawatt, which is enough to power around 400 homes. Where fossil fuels are cheap and plentiful, like Ohio, there isn't much going on, but in other areas there are new land-based farms being constructed all the time like Iowa, Wisconsin, all over Europe, Asia, and Australia. The number of farms has doubled just over the last few years, and where land is a shortage, there's new offshore farms being built. They're several miles away from the coast. Uh, they have larger turbines capable of producing more power. They're located on deep piers down to the ocean floor, and down at, out at the ocean, you have greater winds and steadier wind speeds producing more efficient electricity. Most countries are involved in this. The U.S. is the last one to join, join aboard. Uh, there are two projects in the works in Cape Cod and Long Island, New York. Thanks for shooting the breeze, Skywalker. And now for our genius on the set, Cody with Business Corner. Hello, welcome to the Business Corner. Wind power can be used to solve the energy crisis that is facing this world right now. 
The wind that could be used would produce five times the amount of energy that the world used last year. The usual cost for one kilowatt is less than one cents to produce it. The problem facing wind power advancement is the investment capital. This could be solved by selling long-term wind energy contracts. This would lock in the price and consumers wouldn't have to worry about rising cost of other energy sources. By selling these, it would ensure that capital is in returned into further production. It would also be invested in more technology that would increase energy output. If, the, if wind power companies can figure out a way to double the height uh, safely of a wind turbine, it would increase the power by 34%. That would help lower cost for the average family home. Well, that just about wraps it up for all of us here at Schnuck News Central. Tune in next week for our segment on how to understand some of Schnucker's jokes. You stay classy, humanities.